Hey guys, I received a message from Wannabe Cool. It says, Hey, I need your help. You know the Res Hacker program? In one of your videos, you told that you could change the start button. Could you please explain how I can do that? Thanks a lot. Um, thanks for your question, Wannabe Cool. Now, uh, I did say Res Hacker was a great program, and I did say that I could change the start button text and uh, several other things to do with the start button. And uh, I thought, as soon as I said that, I thought someone's going to ask me how to do this. So, um, thanks for your question. I'm basically going to show you, uh, I've got it in a virtual machine here, Windows XP virtual machine, I've got the start button here. I'm going to show you um, how to change this uh, start button text, the logo, and you'll notice it says click here to begin. I'll be showing you how to change that as well. It's really easy to do, don't worry. And um, uh, I'll just be showing you how to do it basically. So uh, here I have Resource Hacker, I'll provide the link in the description. I'm just going to double click this. Now the file we want to change, we're going to open, we're going to change it, it's going to be C, Windows, and it's explorer.exe, that's where the start menu stuff is located. So when you want to go and change this uh, little start logo, you go to bitmap 1431033, and there is your little flag, which is down here. Now you notice that most of it's black, now that is the transparency, so what you can actually do is export this, um, you just go to action, Save bitmap 1431033. Save it as a BMP file and edit it in Paint or something. But you need to realise that this black bit is the transparent bit because if I hover my mouse over here, you'll notice that it's actually shaded behind this because it's uh, transparent. So it's using the actual start button behind it. Now um, you can actually change that, but note if you change the entire box, um, it will change the entire box here, so it won't look as good because you've modified it without the transparency. But anyway, when, once you've done that and edited, edited, edited it in Paint, you go to Action and then Replace Bitmap. And that's pretty much how you do that. Now, um, if you want to change the Start Button text, uh, all you need to do is go to the String Table and go to 37, 1033, and you notice that it says Start there, 578 Start. Now all you need to do, you can just replace this, just drag your mouse over and replace it. Now, something I was wondering before, and I can't seem to remember, um, Windows 95, Windows 98, that had a capital S in its Start button, didn't it? Am I right? I hope I'm right, I think I'm right. Uh, I wonder why they put a small S in the Start. But hey, anyway, I'm going to replace this and say Dunk, uh, with a capital D, and then all I'm going to do is pr um, click Compile Script. So that is uh, pretty much, it's embedded into the file but hasn't saved it yet. So um, I was showing you about this whole uh, click here to begin thing. So if I just uh, drag my mouse over, click here to begin, we want to change that. Now that's just above the start menu text, 34. We click that and you see it says 533, click here to begin. So I'm going to say, click here, you mofo. And uh, then I'm going to say compile script. Now it's ready to go, it hasn't modified the original file so don't worry, we're now going to save it as, and I'm going to put it in a separate directory because I'm uh, just worried about this whole file protection thing and, and it just replacing files and things like that. So I'm just going to say new folder and I'm going to type mod, I'm going to go into it, I'm going to say explorer.exe, I'm going to say save. And now it's in C Windows Mod Explorer.exe. Now all we need to do is point Windows to look at that Explorer.exe instead of the one it's using now. Now the way we can do this is through the registry editor. Start, run, reg edit. And we need to go to H key local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, uh, current version, and then win logon. Now I hope you followed that, you might have to rewind if you didn't get to that. But anyway, we then need to scroll down and find something called Shell. And you notice it says Shell here, R-E-G-S-Z, Explorer.exe. I'm just going to double click this, and uh, all I'm going to do is, at the beginning, I'm going to type mod, and then forward slash. So it's now mod slash Explorer.exe. Now that is uh, pretty much it. All I need to do now is reboot my computer. So I'm just going to reboot it. And hopefully, when we log back on, there'll be there won't be a blue screen or anything, and um, it will have my new text and my new rollover because I haven't modded the um, haven't modded the logo as you know because I didn't edit in Paint or anything. So 
bottom left you'll notice dunk and now when I roll my mouse over it click here you mofo so you can modify this text to be whatever you want I'm not sure how long it is it might limit itself to something like six characters or something or however long it is but uh, you'll notice I've modified it and it says click here you mofo and you can also change that but obviously I haven't done it so uh, that's about it really um, if you want to change it back you go back into the registry editor go to where I showed you before take out that mod forward slash and then it'll be fine so um, that's about it really thanks for watching my video I hope this answers your question one would be cool and um, that's about it so thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again